Hello everyone, my name is Kiara Keller and I am part of the Chris Bello team and I am here to talk about the onboarding process. And so we use two systems, Google Sheets and Trello in order to organize onboarding. The first step is to start a group text between the sponsee, sponsor, and your onboarding guide. And so within that, after the group text starts, they get added into the Trello board. I'm gonna share my screen with you so we can dive in. And so when we get into our Trello board, we have different cards here. We have our top 200 prospects uh, after the agent has moved on to the application process and then after they move into onboarding. We then move them into a seven day follow-up, 14 day follow-up, and then a monthly follow-up until they become uh, performing agents where we only check in every once in a while or as needed. So after we start that group text, I'll go ahead and add another card into this application process. In that group text, I will send them the joint application. Then I'll put in here their level, last name, and then first name. After we add their card, we can go in and we start labeling them. Now we have a di different kinds of power-ups in here. I'll do another video on power-ups, but if you already know about it, uh, we added in some custom fields here, that's a power up. So we'll add in their frontline sponsor and then um, we'll go ahead and add in the date they joined. And then uh, their birthday, you know, we can put in there so we can do a little shout out for their birthday celebration. We'll also put in here their direct sponsor. And so uh, we can do that. And then here we can do the activity. So immediately I'll say um, completed join application, sent license transfer instructions. Um, but then, you know, you would just click save and then that would get logged into the activity. Now, what I would do now is select a due date and say, all right, they joined on the 13th. We're going to schedule onboarding for them on Monday. And so hopefully um, they can get the join application filled out and then they can also download the world so that we can give them a tour on Monday, show them their next steps for transferring their license and getting in with the organization. And now also in here, uh, we'll add location. We can put in their uh, add their zip code so that uh, we can see them on the map and then we're pretty much good to go. Uh, after that, we then move them into the onboarding process. So Monday comes around um, and John's ready to do his onboarding process. We're gonna go in here and open up our checklist for onboarding. So we use Google Sheets to organize onboarding. And so we have a template that we'll just duplicate and then we'll take John Smith through the onboarding process. We'll click on onboarding master. This is our template. We're going to duplicate it. And then we'll double click here to change it. So this is gonna be John Smith. And then he is gonna be in Michigan. So we'll put him in um, Eastern Standard Time. Once we're in here, we can get all of his personal information within that group text, right? So what his name is, his sponsor, maybe his birthday, personal email, maybe he's married, his physical address, and then um, we want to find out the best way to communicate with him. And so in doing that, we're going to ask him questions like text or email, um, once a week, is that okay? Once a month, depending on his needs. What is most important to him in being a part of EXP? And so that could be, he wants to grow his marketing brand. Maybe he needs help getting leads. Um, maybe he wants to get right into um, agent attraction and sponsoring more agents. Uh, so their needs are differentiate. So let's say um, he is a leader type, right? And he wants to get into agent attraction. And then you, you know, you get to know him, right? What, what are their needs? 
Then after we go through that, we go through the onboarding process. And we can check these off. Now Google Sheets has this really cool tool where we can um, show the edit history over here in each individual cell. So you can go back and see, okay, when did he apply? Um, hopefully you'll send him the link to download. Now these are the instructions uh, to apply. Please allow 30 minutes and your, have your direct deposit information ready, right? We have our onboarding reference number in case you wanna check your status there. And then you wanna make sure that they download Zoom because you're gonna be communicating that way to, in order to do the tour. And then you can send them these helpful links, how to break up with your broker. There's the IT link and then the link for class schedules. And so you can send all of that to them in the beginning so they know what to expect. Then they're going to receive their ICA and then they're going to go through the license transfer process. And now I've coded this so that we can add different states in here because the license transfer process is different depending on the state that the agent is joining in. So we're going to select Michigan and here we can either um, transfer their license on the DRE website. In Michigan specifically, it's kind of easier. The broker takes care of everything. So you just send a picture of your pocket card to the broker and there are these instructions in here. And now if we keep going down, the next thing is we want to make sure that they're a part of an MLS, right? And a local association board. We can also verify their license on the DRE website for that state. We then confirm that their uh, listings are transferred. They get an email that they have confirmed their forwarding email. They receive their passport, and then we start signing them up for KV Core um, through Enterprise. That's the first thing we wanted to do because that takes seven to 10 business days. After that, we start giving them um, the enterprise tour. We can show them where that is within expcloud.com. And then they'll get an email. We make sure they know how to order their business cards, access the branding website so they can get their exp logo. We then move on to uh, posting a welcome graphic on for social media. That is going to make them feel a part of the team, you know, educates them on who their sponsor is, shouts them out as being a new exp agent. And then... Um, we introduce them to workplace and get them started with a nice training schedule. With that, you know, we have this contract class, introduce them to where EXP library is, have them check out the intro to SkySlope video, and then make sure that they go through this getting started guide, right? That's most important in onboarding is that they know where to find within the world this EXP getting started guide, which is, you know, step one, step two, all self-explanatory things that a new joining agent can run through in order to complete the onboarding process. After that, we'll go back into um, our Trello board, right? And then we'll move John Smith into the seven day follow up just to make sure he is um, doing all of those training classes and he doesn't have any immediate questions that need to be answered. Agents don't always reach out. So we need to make sure that we're actively engaging them as well. Then we go into, uh, you know, next 14 day follow up, 30 day follow up, whatever your next cards are. And that is the onboarding process. Thank you for watching the video today. I know this one was a little bit longer, but I appreciate your attention and uh, have a great rest of your day.